Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So this is my most recent project I just finished here. It is a high roof, medium wheelbase transit for a previous customer who had come before. If you'd seen the previous video, it'll be in the link in my bio uh, for his like first kind of stage of building. The first stage that we did was put down some insulation, a subfloor, put in these little panels on the walls, and then put in the panels on the sides here. So he came back another time and we did a little bit more work. The first thing I did was put in a nice pine ceiling. He actually, uh, sorry, a cedar ceiling. He actually brought me the cedar and had uh, clear coated it with this stuff. I could put a link in my bio, but you can find it at most hardware stores, just this varathane, polyurethane, oil-based satin. I think it looks really good. It actually just brings out the color of the cedar really well. Um, I installed a couple lights. So there's two up front, two in the middle here and then two in the back right next to that fan. I installed a fan the previous um, round that he came around about six months ago. And um, you know, so he just saved a bit more and had a better idea of what he wanted to do. So you know, now the second stage of building and then he'll probably come back a third time to get his kitchen cabinet and all that installed once he kind of figures out exactly what he wants. Um, so I have it all wired up to a little DC panel here into a 100 amp hour battery down below, which is being charged by a dual battery isolator, which just runs along right into the starter battery. Pretty simple setup, just kind of something that's easy to do um, instead of going straight to solar if you don't have a roof rack or you want to go that far and spend that much money yet. So pretty simple. The first switch powers these first top four lights here. And then the second switch turns on the rear lights. So kind of like if you were probably hanging out in bed and you want to just have like the back lights on and then you're just, you know, or hanging out in the front section, just wanna have the front lights on. So I think that works out pretty well. Um, there's also a switch here for the fan. So that turns on the fan back here, of course. Um, it gives that power. So in case you're just about to leave your van, you just flip all switches off and know that you're um, all good to go, not wasting any power. Uh, so what else we did in here was this bed system, which is something that I've done once before. It uses this E-Track, um, metal that you would see mostly like a moving truck or something but it's actually really easy to work with and um, I got it in 10 foot lengths and you can chop it to size kind of bolt it in here bolt it in here and then bolt it in the back as well and that allows you to like create like a big bed of different sizes um, and then also kind of a little bit of a massive thick really comfy mattress that he actually brought to me and he wanted it to uh, be that size which I think is works perfectly you can see it goes just between these panels that we um, put in, we installed before. Um, so I'll just show you in a second here how that bed system comes apart. This one out. the two by fours here and what I did is I drilled through the hanger here and put a pin so you can just pull this pin out it's nice and tight in there so that actually keeps the two by four nice and square and keeps it from rattling too much so take that pin take this pin out and bam pop the two by four out and then you do the same thing back there and these things are super simple. You just pop that just like this. So, I mean, honestly, I think it's a great system. Um, it is pretty cost effective, you know, a lot cheaper than having to go to a welder, weld all this up and weld an aluminum frame or something like that. Of course, that can get pretty expensive. Um, you know, he seemed pretty excited about the idea and the build I did before the person loved it and has since said that it's, you know, worked perfect for them. So something super simple in case you need to put, move something heavy or big in here. Um, he works uh, you know, with sales and stuff, so he needs to put a bunch of boxes under the beds. So he wants to have the bed down here a lot and have room to you know, put his surfboards or hang out and be on his laptop you know, if he's in between jobs or something like that. So I think it's gonna work really well for him. He's pretty excited, he's coming around a little bit. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Most of the materials that you've seen this build, like the lights, DC panel, battery, um, E-Track, 
e-track accessories and stuff. I'll put links in the bio below um, if you want to try to purchase those for your own build. And um, also, as always, Renergy has been help helping me out a lot on these builds. Uh, down below, there's a code. Just use Solid Woodworks at checkout on their website, and it'll get you 10% off any of the Renergy products. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.